when did you know it was over? Well, you know, after Italy, the Italy game in 2022, you know, we made a few changes and a blade of grass, we win that game with a bonus point and we come third and it's been a successful uh, campaign given the, the squad we had with injuries, but it wasn't to be and uh, I'll uh, relive that try many, many times. So that, that Italy game was put us under pressure. Um, we had to do well in South Africa and we I thought we did very well in South yeah. Africa, you know, we... Uh, should have won that first test. It was an epic game, and uh, you know we got our first win in South Africa in the second test. So we sort of answered the critics for the for the that period of time, I guess. And then coming into the uh, the autumns, it was Georgia. You know, it was definitely Georgia after that game. You know, when you go in the President's Lounge and you're, you're there with uh, a lot of the board and that sort of thing, it's the body language, the lack of eye contact. I uh, I pretty much knew at that stage that Australia may well be the last game. So. Uh, that was my gut feel anyway. Mm. Could you see it coming? Or not? I don't know how much you can say. I know obviously part of the exit is that you can't, and I'm not here to bag Wales or whatever, but it's interesting getting some proper insight in terms of the lay of the land in Wales and your experiences with the Scarlets. You'll be close to some of the players still, I imagine. But could you, like, it feels like, well, this was always coming, whether or not it was now, whether or not it was next week or before the World Cup. Yeah, well, I think it's already in the public domain that the Georgia week, there was talk around the contracts. Um, and I know we, we left it that, look, we box on, we get these last couple of games out of the way, and then if things haven't um, improved or been sorted by the time of the Six Nations, well, that's a different, different kettle of fish. We'll have that conversation when we come to it. But <clears throat> there was always, from the WAU's point of view, um, you know, discussions with the clubs, um, and funding had been discussed. And so we're always um, under the impression that, you know, there was a deal to be had very, very, very quickly uh, shortly uh, after that uh, in around the autumn series so for it to drag out it's really really disappointing it's, I can see how the players will be very frustrated because um, you know they're hearing one thing I guess from their clubs from time to time and you know and, and you want reassurance from the the WRU that um, you know these things are going to get sorted sooner than later and uh, it's just a shame it got to the, where it did but you know you've seen people like Nigel Walker now you know stepping in and you know, I love the way he's he's been fronting the media and, um, you know, and he just put his hands up basically and said, look, there, there's, you know, we could have dealt with this a different way from time to time. And I love the honesty of, of Nigel and um, I think, you know, the players respect that as well. And I think, um, well, I'm really, really happy that the Test match went ahead, obviously, and now we've we'll, just got to make sure that, you know, an agreement between the WAU and the clubs happen sooner than later and uh, those contracts uh, get out there and the boys... Uh, Boys can move forward. Yeah, is it the fact that there is no money? Does it, is that what it boils down to? Well, I think it's a tough time if, if you look across the world. You know, mm -hmm. um, the Australian Rugby Union, New Zealand Rugby, everybody. You know, you've had COVID. Um, we've got a war going on in, in Ukraine, and and how that has a knock-on effect to the economy here. And so, nobody has has got the budgets that they used to have. And and so, you know, that means um, not only players, coaches, we're all in this uh, together. And contracts going forward, I think people are going to have to expect a, a drop-off in, in you know, the levels that they've been used to.